Hey, y'all. Welcome to Wash Day. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my channel. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. So, this is what my hair looks like before. And if you're interested in seeing this curly perm wash day routine, just keep watching. I don't have time for dates. One, two, three. Alright guys, don't forget to take off any jewelry so that you don't snag your hair. The first step to a really great wash day is to get a good rinse. I love rinsing my hair. It just feels, oh my goodness, it just feels so good. I love the way the water feels, breaking up all that oil and dirt that's been built up in there. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. So yeah, the first thing you want to do is get a really good rinse. Next is shampoo. Today I'm going to be using Motion's Moisture Shampoo. It is a sulfate-free, active moisture, lavish shampoo. Nourish and restore shea butter, argan oil, and coconut oil. And this bottle is 13 fluid ounces. I chose this shampoo because I needed a moisturizing shampoo for my curly perm. So yeah, I'm just gonna get in there and get a real good shampoo, break up all of that dirt and oil. Y'all, I'm trying to stay in the frame for y'all, but as you see, as the video goes on, uh, yeah, a bit feel, but that's okay. So I'm going to rinse and repeat. So I'm gonna rinse that out real good. And then I'm going to repeat that process of shampooing and continuing to cleanse my hair. I am only using the pads of my fingers. I am not um, scratching with my nails. It's very important to um, prevent as much breakage as possible. During the second wash, I like to use my shampoo brush to give my scalp a good massage. I like to go in circular motions and ooh y'all, I have really bad dandruff from it feeling so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so then I rinse the shampoo thoroughly out of my hair for the last time. On to conditioning. I'm going to be using the Motions Active Moisture Plus Conditioner, Nourish and Restore Shea Butter, Argan Oil, and Coconut Oil. And the conditioner is also 13 fluid ounces. Here you see me working the conditioner in, making sure that I thoroughly coat my strands all the way to the ends. During the conditioning step, I detangle. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling. Just look over me. Anyway, I love that brush. Um, I picked it up from Walmart and it is a really great detangling brush. And also some clips so that you can clip the excess hair out of the way. So, as you see, I'm like going to be out of the frame really bad, but that's okay. I section my hair down the middle. And then I section each half into halves. So I end up with four different sections during the detangle process. So I start at the ends and 
I work my way up until I have fully detangled the entire section. And I am I'm brushing gently. And as you see, the brush is going through just really, really well. Like there were very few tangles. And once I got those out, it just glided right through the hair. Then I will twist that section up and then move on to the next section. I will do the exact same process to that section of hair. I'll start at the ends, detangle all the way to the roots. Be careful, try not to get into the other section there. So I did get a decent amount of shedding. However, I normally do shed quite a bit and I had not washed my hair in several weeks at that point. So now I will twist that whole section up together. Voila. I have now detangled both sections and now I will take them down and rinse all of the conditioner out thoroughly. Lastly, scalp and curl care, which is a very important step for me. So this is mango Jamaican black castor oil, and I use it to moisturize my hot spots for my dandruff, which is around the perimeter of my hair, my edges, and my nape. And then I rinse the excess oil out. I will use the Carefree Curl Snapback Curl Restorer, a product that is meant for my curly perm to just bring my curls back, help them, you know, come back popping and alive after the manipulation that a wash day can cause. I will make sure that all of my strands are thoroughly coated with the snapback by combing through with a wide tooth comb. And that brings me to the end of my wash day. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you got some tips or pointers. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Bye.